Hello everybody, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, and in today's video, we're going to be making a fully functional vehicle assembly building on Minmus. So, uh, this is an idea I have had for a while, and basically what uh, what, we're, what the plan is, or how this is going to work, is I'm going to be building a big vehicle assembly building, or VAV, um, just like the one on Kerbin, or a little bit smaller, but you know, it's going to be the same shape, and what you're going to do is, I'm going to fly it out to Minmus, and it's going to have a big crane on the top, so what you can do is you can actually assemble rockets on Minmus so you can you know either fly a rocket uh, in in pieces or you can fly it just like the cargo containers from 1.11 and you can build the rocket and assemble the rocket basically and then launch it and and land it on Minmus so you can like have a rocket that has like different configurations so you can like um, um, to get a rocket put and build it in one way fly it and then complete this mission comes back and then you could build it in a different way and it could go to a different mission that's actually what we're gonna be doing today um, is, is, is the thing I just, it's just listed. So we're going to be doing, we're going to be building the vehicle assembly building first, which we're going to be doing right now, just the big, the big general shape. Then the crane is going to be built on the top, uh, the top roof of the VAP. Then we're going to be, um, taking a crawler that I built, um, which is the way the rockets get pulled in and out of the VAP. And I'm going to have some rocket pieces attached to it, um, which is going to then be uh, assembled in the VAP on Minmus. Um, and they're going to be sent out in two different launches. Um, I didn't I didn't film the build time lapse for the construction of the crawler. It's fairly basic, um, and I did quite a bit of time to get taken up by the uh, build time lapse of the VAB itself. Um, if you're enjoying the video, I'll do the quick quick plugs, quick plugs. Oh my gosh, guys, plug time! Um, if you're enjoying the video, um, subscribe button. Oh my gosh, guys, subscribe! Oh my gosh, only three percent of you are subscribed. OMG! No, I'm just kidding. It's actually closer to like 45, 55. But hey, I know YouTubers like to talk about that statistic. I'm um, also Discord. I don't know why I like to plug the Discord in as, as much as I do. But hey, Discord's fun. You can head out to the Discord, comment, like. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So now we're just constructing the doors to the VAB because we need a way to get in and out of the VAB. It's going to be all the plugs for today. Um, in and out of the VAB um, is the, uh, you know, the doors. Um, you got to, you can't, yeah, you, uh, you could have done it where you just have a big open area and one of the hat, one of the, one of the sides just be completely open, but that is lame. We need doors, big old doors. <laughs> I don't know. I was, gonna, I was trying to think of an adjective to say to try and make them sound more, and they're just doors, really. <laughs> um, a big challenge with this thing was uh, the launching of it, uh, the launching itself, um, because uh, yeah, it, uh, uh, this thing, if you as you can tell, not very most most aerodynamic shape. So what I end up doing for the rockets, I, I create like an inverted rocket. So um, the the payload is mounted at the bottom, and then the the first stage or the bottom stage is actually mounted at the top. So when we stage the rocket, where we stage away the first stage, and it like flies off into oblivion, I guess. And the second stage, act you'll see when I get to the launch. It's uh, it's kind of weird looking, but, uh, hey, life is life. So, um, I was putting some temporary control onto the thing, a battery, a, um, a command, um, sorry, an SAS unit, um, just so I can, uh, do testing. Wow, I am, like, doing all of the, all the perping right now. Um, I don't even have, I did have Mexican food for lunch, so that might be why. Um, so, uh, we're just building the crane right now. And, uh, yeah, so basically what this crane needs to do, it needs to rotate, extend, retract, go up and down, left and right, all sorts of stuff, just so we can more easily manipulate stuff. It's going to have a big old ballast on that side, um, just so just to offset the weight from the crap that we're going to be picking up. It is on Minmus. Gravity is pretty low, um, so the stress is not going to be really big. That's why I decided to go to Minmus instead of the Mun, uh, just because the, the crane would have an easier time. So just doing some few different designs for the crane here. Not sure which one I, I, I end up, I, I uh, just experimenting, what I'm trying to say here with uh with the design and then eventually i find something i like and then um then we're gonna be able to uh, that's gonna be pretty basically the entire thing created um i don't have this in the in the time lapse but i put some cargo containers on the side of the vab uh, we don't actually use them in today's video but i do put some stuff in them in case the kerbals in case we do want to use them in the future right um so that is basically gonna be the end of the thing as the crane gets finished and then uh just in the interest of time we're not going to do the uh actually the build of the of the rocket itself we can just cross it over to the wobbly rock which is falling all over the place oh my gosh launch 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 okay we're launching okay uh mental breakdown uh is finished now and we are we are we are launching so what are we looking at here this is the inverted rocket so i have some boosters so they're the first ones to go um and then you can see we have 16 vectors mounted on the top of that of that stage right there um yeah that is really weird looking isn't it 
Um, but hey, it, it does work. So, and we have some wings at the bottom for stability, which is that which is pretty good because you need to stay stable. Um, it was not stable without those wings, so they actually helped a lot. So uh, there go the boosters as we have to eject them off so they don't uh, see them falling back down. That's actually kind of funny looking. So they don't run into the to the payload itself. So pitching over now. This pretty it's a normal uh, send profile. Um, it's just really stupid, <laughs> really really dumb. Uh, as we as we pitch over here about through 45 kilometers first stage is just about getting ready to finish its burn and then we can eject it off I, I leave about 50 meters a second of delta v left just so we can have a, like a second or two to just just get away from the thing so we don't then just run back into us so now we're burning the second stage or the bottom stage which is technically the upper stage it's kind of weird but um this is just a dumb idea it worked hey it worked if, if it works it it works right so um we're through in space now basically we can get ourselves into an orbit I'm going to stage away those um, those wings. One wing decided it wanted to kind of hang out. So, so we just kind of have to get it, get it, get it. There it goes. Bye bye wing. Get ourselves into orbit with that stage. And then we will, um, uh, then we'll stage that away. And then we have our sky crane, which is going to do the rest of the burning. We're going to land with the sky crane. Um, if I, if I didn't even notice, I just, uh, I just said we were. So um, just like the Mars rovers, the Perseverance and Opportunity rover landed, I believe. Or the Curia. I get them confused a lot. Um, and oh, that ain't part of the plan. Oh, that's kind of funny. So I decided to just leave that and do a quick save, quick load. And here we go. Heading on out to the Minty Minmus Mime. <laughs> I was trying to think of a word that sounded. Yeah, turns out commentaries are, I don't know what I'm talking about, dude. Uh, this is kind of weird. Anywho, um, so getting into orbit around Minmus, a little bit of inclined orbit, because why not? Inclined orbits are fun, and just also where I, man <laughs> I uh, managed to uh, end up. So getting ourselves deorbited, and then we can get ourselves landed on the surface of Minmus. Going on the flats right now, uh, just because the flats are flat, and they're a good place to land, right? I love the Minmus Flats. They're one of my favorite places in all of the Kerbin system just because it's so easy to build like surface bases and rovers and I guess vehicle assembly buildings. Every way we have now touched down. Um, actually, a problem I had a weird problem because Minmus is such a low gravity. I kept having a problem where the thing would bounce and then flip over and like crash. So that was kind of weird. Wait, I don't know, weird when your bounciness is the problem. Either way, we can get ready to after some nice views. We can get ready to detach the sky crane. And it's going to, for some reason, normally you just crash it. I'm going to bring it back to Kerbin, because I actually have enough Delta V uh, left in the thing. So there it goes, detached as it let slowly, gracefully flies away. Bye-bye, Sky Crane. We will miss you, even though we're about to switch to you in about three, two, one. There we go. Hello, Sky Crane. A little bit delayed, but here we go. Going to get ourselves into an I, I looked at my Delta V when I switched to it, and I'm like, hey, we have enough fuel to go back to Kerbin. So, hey. We're going back to Kerbin. Why the crap not? So, gonna do the burn to get ourselves, uh, g guess what, back to Kerbin. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna come in for a re-entry. I don't have enough fuel to even land. So, gonna need to burn the engine just a little bit to avoid overheating. But other than that, we are, we're basically through the atmosphere now. And we're coming in over the water on a very nice little sunset. So, bring her in for a nice propulsive landing on the water. And... Touchdown. Epic. That's pretty fun. All right, now we're going to crossfade over to the second launch of today, which is going to be of a of the crawler and the rocket that we're going to actually be building on the vehicle assembly building. That is a really stupid looking fairing, but hey, it works. And the crawler is pretty fast, so that's kind of why we needed the big fairing. So pretty, this is a much norm, much more normal sized rocket, way way smaller rocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pitch ourselves, pitch ourselves nice and over here. A little bit of wobblies just because, uh, yeah, weird, weirdly shaped fairing, right? So, big old wobblies getting ready to deplete that bottom stage in just a few seconds, and then we can stage it away, and we can ignite the upper stage, which is just one Rhino engine, and we can get ourselves accelerated into orbit. This uh, does take a little bit of what time to burn the stage because we don't have the best TWR, but uh, we have enough TWR to get into orbit, so that's what we're going to be doing as we cross about a thousand meters a second now. Just about halfway to orbital velocity, which we don't know. A low Kerbin orbit is around 2,300 meters per second. Kerbal's having a great time there in the crawler. And we're just a, yeah, pretty, pretty normal ascent profile. I don't know. What should I do? I was thinking. I do, I do live streams pretty often. And one, one of the people, one with someone in chat, um, suggested I should do during, like, the boring bits of my video. You know how Matt Lown does whiskey reviews? I should do vodka reviews. So, hey, Matt. 
you know, whiskey, you review all your Jack Daniels number seven whiskeys. I am going to start vodka review, the superior reviewing mechanisms of the two of us. So, I don't know, what should be our first vodka? I don't know any vodkas. Um, Russian vodka, I don't know. I'll have to do a little more research. We'll, we'll get back to the vodka reviews, but they will not be gone. Um, they will not be gone. Well, I, I should probably get back to the video because something interesting is happening. Um, so we're doing our transminimus injection, or TMI, transminimus, yep, um, and then we can head on down to the, head on to, get in orbit, and then we're going to be landing this thing, I mean, we don't actually have to land terribly close to the, um, to the VAB itself, because we have a crawler, and fun fact, crawlers have wheels, so we can actually just drive, drive on over to it, so there we go, in orbit, and then we are going to get ourselves, um, there it is, target, a little bit, uh, not quite equatorial is our destination, that kind of sounded weird grammatically, but hey, we can, we can get ourselves to do a little bit of an inclination change and a do a burn and done. So I'm going to be coming in um, very stupidly with <laughs> with the rover or the rover, the uh, crawler. Um, we didn't do any sort of sky crane. We're just landing normally with a wolfhound engine. Kind of weird, but uh, boink. There it goes. Touchdown. So which is what we basically end up having to do is just decoupling the crawler and it just will uh, it'll just kind of, it'll just make its way off of the... Uh, make its way off of the thingy ma bobber so and so 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 uh, 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 uh. hey we made it <laughs> so um i should probably talk about our payload actually before i do that i should talk and do a little bit of crossfade because you don't probably want to watch that entire drive we are going to do something pretty cool here so we're going to open up the doors Ba 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 ba! Oh my gosh, so epic! That was, that was a pretty cool shot, actually. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. So um, now we can go ahead and drive her in. So what's the payload? So we have a command pod with a heat shield and stuff. We have a nuclear stage and we have a normal vacuum stage. So this we can assemble this vehicle in two options. So we can either assemble it with the vacuum stage, which is good for landing on different celestial bodies because it has a high thrust to weight ratio, or we could assemble the nuclear stage, which is good for going to faraway places. So what I think I'm going to do, so for this, for yeah, I elected to do the nuclear stage. So what we could do is we could, um, we could fly this thing and then we could bring it back and then we could move the command pod over to the other other state or the rocket and then like switch it out so i think that's pretty cool pretty cool idea i had there i don't know maybe it is maybe it's not either way um so we're gonna go ahead and start manipulating the crane this is this is pretty cool here where we can actually start to use our vab we're using it we're not we're not 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 just all words here in pile of it'd be kind of weird if i just said i build one didn't actually show proof It'd probably be a pretty boring video, but either way, we are going to now just bring her down to the docking port. I have no idea why I was starting with the nuclear stage. Well, as you can see, something really dumb happens and bad, and... Um, yeah, so it turns out if you're using the crane, you might want to know how to use it first. Um, so I, I turned the target angle way up there, and now it's flipping all over the place, and oh my gosh, you're coming down, and... Whack! Let's go and just reload a quick save. And hey, nothing, nothing happened at all. We are back to, <laughs> back to normal. Doing it the normal way where I'm going to go ahead and start by getting the command pod. Which all it, well, all the command pod is basically just a heat shield, parachute, command, like the Mark 1 command pod, decoupler, reaction wheel, and batteries and solar panels. So, not much going on here, but here we go, bringing it down, and oh, bouncy bounce, there it goes. We have now attached to the command pod decouple it and we're going to raise it up and get ready to um put it on top of the docking port to the nuclear stage so we can get coupled together and they go on some fun missions together and i go to rotate the servo and nothing's happening i reload i do a quick save reload the quick save and even weirder stuff is happening. So yeah, this thing is kind of prone to crack and attacks. So luckily we're actually close enough to the docking port. I can just go ahead and uh, just just drop it right here. And I can turn up the docking coil force. And the, the magnets in the docking ports can actually just bring them together. But hey, crack and attacks. We love crack and attacks. Yeah, I, f I think that's something to do with the advanced grabbing units. Advanced grabbing units are kind of glitchy in KSP. But either way, we have, we've done it. We've completed our rocket. We've used our VAB. That was actually pretty cool. Um... Unfortunately, that's going to be the end of the video. Unfortunately, I did not pronounce that right. Unfortunately, that is going to be the end of the video. Um, I said we could use this rocket, but I'm going to leave you guys in suspense because we are going to be using it in a different video. Ooh, what do I have planned? Ooh, I don't know. 
we have a black screen plan for this video right now. Hey, great transition. So that's going to bring us to the end of the video. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.